Okay, the completion of the spaghetti squash, as simple as I just got to telling you that it was. I come on and pan down here, Richard, on the squash. You notice how they browned a little bit here, just slightly. They were covered with foil, but they still browned a little bit, and that's okay. These are nice and tender enough to eat, and now I'm going to show you how to get them out of the shell in a simple but really delicious way to serve them that everyone will like if you give this to them. Um, first of all, you can cook the spaghetti squash up to this point right here and let them sit in your kitchen for two, three, four hours if you needed to, and then slightly reheat them in the oven before you do what we're about to do now. So what I just told you was how to stage the preparation so that it's easier for you to schedule the completion of the meal, okay? So you can par-bake these the way I did now. Not the day before, the same day in the case of the spaghetti squash, okay? Now we're going to use a dinner fork and we're going to get we're going to pull the squash you see it has a little spaghetti look to it. Pan down to the spaghetti look here, Richard. Zero in on this form. This is very important because this is the essence of how this squash got its name. Now I have from time to time taken this, seasoned it, and put it back inside the shell and served it on the table like that before too. And that's kind of neat, okay? But we're going to do a few of these. Come on back down, Richard. I want to make sure they see how this part's done. This is very important. You're doing this while it's hot, too, you see? Now, these just came out of the oven. They're really hot. Yours doesn't have to be quite that hot, but... It, it, they come out in the spaghetti fashion, if you will, uh, a little bit better when they're nice and hot. Or at least warm, that is, okay? I think I got most of it out of there. You might be able to scrape a little bit more out. But let's just finish some of this right now so you get an idea of how I would do that. Here's how I would do that. One of the things you want to be careful about the spaghetti squash, once you have it out of the shell, don't manhandle it, don't overhandle it, don't overmix it, because you end up smashing the threads that make it spaghetti squash. And you end up with more of a snowball of squash, if you will. You don't want that. You want the texture of the spaghetti to be constant and part of the eating process. It's, that's what makes it really nice. Now, you can take some regular ground Parmesan cheese, like I have here, for example, and sprinkle it on top, or you can take some fresh Parmesan cheese and grate it right over the top, or do a little bit of both. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take a little bit of butter that I have pre-melted here, put it over it. Not much. You don't want it to get greasy. This will get greasy fairly easy, too. Take a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and then we're going to move Squash onto the serving plate. This is really, really a fun little item. I want to eat some of it right now, but uh, I don't want to put anything in my mouth because you'll miss all the things I have to say. Um, now, eh, you can put a little more seasoning on here. You know, just, I kind of spread it out on the table a little bit because I didn't want it mounded when I put the stuff on. You notice I didn't mix it a lot. I kind of spread it out and season it like that. We can try maybe folding it over once and seasoning the other side just a little bit. Some more salt and pepper, a little bit more ground Parmesan cheese. Now we'll put it together a little bit like that. Now I'll grate some more Parmesan cheese on it. Very simple, very good though. And we'll hit it with a little bit of chopped parsley. Now, you may want to drizzle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil on there. You may not. Uh, you certainly can substitute 
a butter substitute, if you will, for the butter, provided it has some flavor in it. That's it. And it's really, really good. And I wish I could, as a matter of fact, right after I cut this video and we're done with this, we're going to dive into this stuff and eat it. It's really tasty. But uh, it's as simple as that. Bake it. You can par-bake it. Use the tines of a fork to remove. Now, the tines of the fork did not create that texture of the squash. I could have used a spoon, and it still would have came out like spaghetti. I don't want you to think that the, the fork tines created that, uh, the texture of the squash, because it does not. And um, a little bit of butter, salt and pepper, some Parmesan cheese, it's great. There's all kinds of things you can add into this if you want. There are people that mix other squashes in with it and serve it as a mixed squash dish. Or you can put raisins and nuts and blah, blah, you can go on and on. But this particular vegetable does not need very much, and I hope you get a chance to enjoy it as much as we're going to right after this take is over. Have fun with it.